What's up guys, my name is Ozzy and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Nitro Loop DX channel. Now for today guys, I thought I'd go through some spawn related tips and facts for you guys all about things that spawn in Minecraft and some cool ways and things that you may not have believed were possible. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole thing of this video. Before we even go into it though, make sure that you sit in there in your gamer seat. Or, you know what, you could be on the sofa. I, I don't know what you're doing. I can't see through the screen. Make sure you smash the like button down below to let us know if you want to see more of these videos. Do you want to see more? That will be shown through the support through the like button now guys we always have a little start of the video where we look at the like sheep who tells us how to like the video and and wait what her lies like sheep like plus um guys first of all the like sheep can't spell because they wrote uh, I know I'm supposed to be serious, but the like sheep has died, guys. Oh my guys. <gasps> Who's gonna tell us how to like? The like sheep is simply just raw mutton. It's raw you know what guys? We're gonna have to get a new like animal. Make sure you comment down below what animal you want to be the next thing, and then we will maybe, who knows, never see the like sheep again. But uh, come on, like sheep, spell properly, but yeah. For reals, guys, let's get a new like mascot and let's go in to this video right now. Now, the first thing about spawning involves my good friend, Mr. Mob, who is uh, green and black, green and black, green and black. And so this is a pretty well-known one, but just for you guys that have been under a slab in Minecraft and have never actually discovered this, it's something where you can actually spawn an explosion of a creeper whenever you please. So if you've got your good friend Mr. Creeper here and he's just minding his own business and you decide you want him to explode on command, use your flint and steel and ka -ching, he will go into explode mode straight away. So it's a cool little feature which if you're having some sort of mini game which involves creative and you want to have a creeper to explode in front of you. I don't know, it could be some sort of maze game where the creepers, you have to make them all explode to mine your way through. I'm coming, I'm coming up with some cool mini game ideas here, guys. Get your pen and paper out, get them down. But simply, get your creepers out. Hello, Mr. Creepers. How are we doing today? Bam, 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 let's get a massive explosion going. There we go. You can actually explode them straight away and I think it's quite cool so let's quickly just go to survival and show you how this would work if you were in a different setting so I need to place this and actually not die from him so if he's over there ready he's he's, he's kind of he's kind of yeah he's looking at me then we're gonna place that on him we're gonna run away and bang he explodes over there without me activating him normally so an alternative way to spawn in things like explosions from a creeper Bet you didn't know that, or maybe you did. Who knows? Let's go to the next. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Now, cow, you can't tell anyone about. No, just don't turn around and don't, don't, don't put your udder in my face. Uh, uh, don't like your videos. What the? I'm giving you all this information, all these cool different things that you may not have known, all these cool facts. And the get on my video. I stop rambling. Okay. All right. All right. Guys, uh, did you just, oh, did you see that? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Cow, you're embarrassing me, alright? Just, guys, there's a cool thing that I need to show you on the next thing. About how you're spawning your iron golems. Now, obviously, let us quickly just go to the, the normal way. On, <laughs> let's take that off. Let's show you the normal way on how you get your little iron golem out. Very similar to when you're getting the wither going down. Let's get this pumpkin. Let's try not to get it on my head. And bam! Hello, we've got ourselves the Iron Golem, which is literally like a Hulk version of the Villager, which I, which I like to really look at it as. So, this is a very cool little feature, which some of you guys may not have known, and it may blow your mind that you can actually spawn this crazy guy in more than one way. Not just that way that we showed you, you can actually do it in any other format. So if I went like this, if I went like this, and then if I placed it, ready? It makes no sense because it's upside down. Bam! You get yourself another iron golem. 
Now, I think it would be so cool if if we did it that way. Uh, you get imagine if you got a dinner bone golem. I think that would be absolutely insane. Can we please get an upside down golem? I will love you forever if we do that. Uh, stop looking at me. Uh, um, I'm going to just walk away slowly. And I, uh, you know what? You, you, your video sucks, man. Just get, just go. Just, just, just. Everyone knew this already. What? What? I, I didn't. I, I didn't know this. I the thing is, guys, I generally didn't know this. Whenever I don't know something, and I've played Minecraft for years, I generally think that there's a lot of people like me out there who haven't. So I'm sorry for all the pros that know this stuff, but it will blow some people's minds. Okay? Just like how I'm one with the flower. But yeah. So there's that way. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Let's have a look live in the video. Can we do it other ways? Can we do it like that? Here we go. Shall we see? Shall we see? So, oh, you can't. Whoa, it's not even letting me place it. Okay, hold up. Close that. No, you can only do it those two ways. So it isn't loads of different ways, but you can actually do it ways that. I'm pretty sure on the ground is the last way. Ready, ready, ready. And pow. Yes, yeah, so that is the three ways you can spawn in your good old eye. Fighting my way through the jungle. I'm getting through here using my machete to get through these leaves. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Now, the next thing, guys, is in my inventory. Did you know another thing about spawning is, or a fact about the spawns that we have, just like the ocelots and chickens. Now, these two actually have an interesting combination of features, which I would like to show you guys today. Something that you may probably wouldn't have known, because I've never actually realized this myself. So, if we have, let's get, let's get a ton of ocelots, let's spawn them in. So, uh, you've got some ocelots that have spawned wild in here. And let's get a few chickens around as well. Now, if we just zoom out a little bit, let's get a few more ocelots going in here. The, uh, chickens will actually get preyed on by these ocelots. I'm pretty sure one has started already. Yeah, 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 these ocelots are taken out. This chicken, that chicken's taken. Ready, that chicken's taken. They do it. They're pretty brutal creatures. Now, what I really want to see is if they actually do what I wanted them to do, which is they kind of, uh, what do you call it? They stalk their prey, okay? So if we put chicken over here, let's see what they do. They, they can, oh look, see this one? Yeah, look, he's, he's slow. see that was slowly, this one right here, if you watched it, it slowly crept along as he saw the lovely chicken and his juicy chicken uh, chicken wings and he went and he pounced and that's that that's the cool thing about when you spawn ocelots and chickens together and you see this spectacular event and so that's a cool little spawn fact about when you have you know in the jungle biomes you definitely see a lot of ocelots and chickens do come from time to time around here. So, it's a cool little spawn fact about two little mobs in the same area have a little bit of rivalry. And it also, also used... Oh, see, see, look. Even the, oh, there you go. He just quickly ran into them. And, and they don't even take any of the meat or anything. They just literally bite into them. And they're done for. But, now on to... Okay, guys. This is gonna absolutely destroy your world. Okay, so, you know the wither, the good old man that likes to spawn in when you spawn it in, in whatever way you want. There's actually another similar way, just like the iron golem, on how you can spawn this in. So, regardless to whatever skull you place on this good old iron, oh no, not the iron, we're talking about the wither, you can put whatever skull formation you want so you can put it like this this and place the middle one or you could go from the left this this and place the, uh, that one and it will still spawn and this this as well and it's still also you can actually place it on the side as well guys as you saw there now the weather has spawned in front of me and i'm gonna try and show you all the other combinations so uh, just a recap okay destroy it then wither just destroy it okay mr wither thank you very much so as we just recap there you can actually do it sideways as well so regardless to whatever you know the formation of the schools you can actually do it lying like this it's on the side it's having a nap and obviously since 
the wither is still here. Another little fact is that those ones get destroyed. So you can't have double withers in the same game. So that's a little fact. You can have different variations of spawning the iron golem and the wither as well. So cool little way. You don't have to get it perfectly every single time. So yeah, guys, I thought this would just be a few cool things that may blow your mind if you like me and you play Minecraft all the time, but still new things completely bewildered me every time I see these cool features. So make sure you smash that like button down below if you want to see more stuff like this and content. And of course, guys, subscribe for daily Minecraft stuff and give us your thoughts in the comment section down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again. Aussie is signing off.